Is it Maka? I know she's from Soul Eater, but... I know she's from Soul Eater too. As a character, I don't really... To be honest, I've never really watched Soul Eater. I know I jumped into like a few episodes, but it was like in the middle of it. So I'd never watched it from the beginning, beginning. Yeah. Um, from the little bit I watched as a character herself, probably just trash. But this <laughs> probably with the... No, see, but this is what just a little bit of knowledge. Trash? It just is very little bit of knowledge. The show itself is probably a lot higher, though. I, okay, so I know some of the characters at least actually have depth and like yes. ambitions and stuff. But her herself from the anime, I know she doesn't know her mom, I believe. Because she knows her dad. Her dad is a weapon for death. But she grew up without one of her parents. Think Her main goal was just... Or, see, I'm reaching here. But as far as I know, her main goal was to help Soul evolve as a weapon until like halfway through the series when there was an actual antagonist and then like at the end they find they find out that she's a weapon so i don't know i don't feel like fr from what i've seen i don't think she has an actual like character i don't want to actually grade her because i've never watched the show but that's just me being safe i would uh, put it uh, not watch as well I, if you want to be safe safe because I, I would put her at low mid <laughs> just because they do like the way the show is going they they do have some depth to them no, I like the show itself from the few episodes I watched as a show as a whole a lot better. But if we're just talking about the characters, I, I don't I don't feel like they did much with her. Because there there are some true trash characters. I just don't feel like she's one. Okay. But we'll uh, we'll come to a conclusion later.